Paul Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Buena Park, California, and even more specifically than that, we are at Knott's Berry Farm, or as it is known tonight, Knott's Scary Farm, one of my all-time favorite haunted events. They actually claim to be the, the, the voice the, the voice over the intercom actually said this is the original haunted event and I, I do believe that is true I think it is the 50th anniversary they're celebrating 50 years of a theme park haunt event one of the original theme parks to do a spooky haunted event and I'll tell you what this is one of my favorites I love the creativity I love the ideas the concepts everything is so much fun I missed it last year I like to come every year out to uh, Southern California for Halloween I came out last year did Halloween Horror Nights unfortunately they had bumped back the opening last year of Not Scary Farm by a week so I ended up missing it so it's been two years since I've been here and I'm very very excited to return this is this is one of the haunts that really led to me falling in love with the Halloween season here in Southern California so without further ado please Follow me. Don't scare me, don't scare me. Oh. <laughs> End of the park here. We've got ominous windmill. The big 50 there for the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm. Let's just go in and see what happens into the ghost town section, which is like the old west cowboy part of Not. All right, encounter some ghouls here. There we go. <laughs> Hello there. Oh. I farted. Well, that's wildly inappropriate. Let's peek into the sheriff's office here. They have these little cowboy scenes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They have the cowboy scenes. These cowboys have been replaced with horrifying ghouls and skeletons. You don't think. You don't think he's here, do you? You know. Hello? Are you sleeping? Oh, you can hear him snoring. Looks like Sad Eye Joe has fallen asleep. Talking to our prisoner here, huh? Yeah, yeah, just saying hi to Sad Eye. Oh, hey, come on. I told you, he needed company. <laughs> He's a lucky one, you know. <laughs> oh, what's this lurking? Lurking on the porch up here. Over here is the Grimoire. This was the new maze last year. I actually uh, have not been here because I was not here last year. This was uh, the, the maze they debuted last year. So very excited about, about checking this out. Let's head into the Grimoire. A world where being thankful is filled with a thirst for blood. Grimoire, Grimoire, damn these souls to our pages through dying. Grimoire. Oh, we're going into the pen. Oh, what's happening? Night time? Oh my god. Bring to Oh, careful. Oh, who are you? Oh, what's happening in that bed? There's things moving in the bed there. With some sort of some sort of war here. 
going on here? What war is this? World War One, World War Two? I'm unclear. It's probably World War One. They're in the trenches here. <laughs> Kitchen, the dining room. Are we headed into the refrigerator? What is this, Meow Wolf? Or the campground. Oh my god, you're okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I gotta get out of here. We're in the campground here. This is Origins, the Curse of Calico. It's kind of a haunt themed on the uh, Knott's Berry Farm ghost town. Who would like to look evil in the face? Not so many people I see. Be not afraid of the power of the witch. All of us. Watch out for the witch. We are the collective power of the town of Calico. We are stronger than she is. Where is Sarah Marshall now, huh? We will see this town salvation. To the courtroom here. Damnation. Oh! To the schoolhouse here. Something happened to the teacher. That's the substitute. Here in the church. Hey. Little Wild West town. Witches be warned. They've hung some witches here. Right outside of the haunted shack. Oh, look at these crows eating this dead horse. Oh, how's that water pouring by itself? Oh, you lurk in there. Barrel of bones. Oh, this creature here, this is part of the Knott's Berry Farm folklore. I think that's a, is that a caddy wampus? Through the hanging witch tunnel here. Gotta push the witches out of the way. Oh, there she is! The witch! Oh, there she goes, she can fly! Always lurking and watching you! That's always cool. Now over here we have the Goring 20s. It's a 1920s themed scare zone. Oh, look at this. Some dancing uh, going on here in the streets. Oh, look up there. All the dancing uh, ghouls up on the balcony. And here you say, shut down the blind tiger. Shut down the blind tiger? Yes, yes. What's this? Re reject the devil's elixirs? Yes, they're serving the stretching through. Poison. Yeah, like people having fun out here, then people trying to, to put an end to the fun. Yes. <laughs> it's not fun, it's sickness. They're sick in the head. <laughs> oh, I got one of your ladies there. Yes, Jerry. Jerry? She's a great dancer, and it's Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> oh, you gonna give her a little kiss there? <laughs> oh, you don't you don't like this music? What? You don't you don't you no, of course not. All this heat and this devilry going around? Of course not. This should be Hindu and biblical music. Biblical Good music. Queen music, yeah. Dry music about not drinking and not singing. Music about not drinking. 
shrieking. And not singing. And not, not music not about not singing. Music. Godly not music. music. <laughs> I'll stop it at some point. All I don't right. care how fun and tempting it is. It's indecent. Indecent, I say. I like this guy's dance. Here, this, this bartender dancing in the street. Man, I wish I was alive in the 20s. Maybe not. It still looks pretty fun. So this is the Walter Knott Theater, up where they were just uh, dancing at the top. Here is a brand new haunt. Room 13, it looks like it takes place in a fictionalized Walter Knott Theater. Bartender here. Oh, this fool here is super drunk and passed out. What happened in here? Bad takes. The gambling room. Oh my goodness. We're checking into the, the hotel here. Whoa! The bellhop. Oh, he's ringing the bell. He's the bellhop. Luggage racks here. One of the rooms here, the hotel room. Unlock this door now! Oh, there we go. What's going on in this bathroom? Hey there! Oh, Let's get you in here. This guy's head is being cooked on the grill. Oh look, a lobster! Get the hell out of here! Oh, that was a, that was rude. Well, this is dangerous. Like we're walking out onto uh, onto like uh, some rafters here. Wait! Oh, careful! The elevators here. Oh look, someone's been actually crushed in that elevator. Oh no, buddy! What happened? No, what happened in this room? Crazy. Connect all the dots. Develop, someone's developing old uh, photos in the bathtub. The piano lounge in here. Calico Mine Ride over here. Actually, a classic, amazing dark ride. And uh, during the Halloween season, it becomes the Calico Candy Mine Ride, where they actually, I guess, mining for candy instead of like jewels and gold. So, uh, yeah, let's hop aboard. Chariot awaits. With all that said, this drunk here so we can find ourselves some candy. All the work. To the mine. The Key Lime Spring right there. Here's the Boys and Berry Spring. 
Pumpkins in there. Look at all those animatronics. Amazing. Big scoops of ice cream there. really interesting they uh I had rode it before with the the candy mine overlay and it was a little different last time they had like you know the concept that they were mining for candy but they've actually added more candy effects in the mine and then there was kind of like some interesting audio then where they, they the, pink, the pink fairy starts uh, starts talking and then there's like an evil voice I didn't pick up exactly who the evil voice was there was some, some dialogue between the pink fairy and some evil force in the in the cave. I think that's new. Now, at one point, this was one of my favorite haunts here. It was called Dark Ride. It was a Dark Ride themed haunt. So obviously, one of one of my favorites. Um, that's gone now, which makes me a little bit sad. But uh, we have a brand new haunt called Cinema Slasher. Looks like they've got the front set up like a movie theater. So uh, always, always exciting to try something new, even if we have to let go of the past. Hey. Oh, a bunch of slasher movies playing here. Let's all go to the lobby. Here we are in the lobby. Get some candy there. Oh, what's happening? Oh, that's crazy. Look at that effect. Oh. I will. Thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I love that. All right, guess we're headed into the into the movie theater. All right, we're here. We actually walk through the middle of the screen. There, the people over here watching the movie. We head right right into the screen. What movie is this? Oh my goodness. Who slashed this place up? Oh my. This is a pretty intense movie. What's this movie rated? All right, we're back in the theater here in the real room. Right there, just moved. I saw it. What was that? Oh, enter another, another theater here. Oh gosh, I thought you were just the prop. Oh my goodness. Camp, gonna get ya. Oh, look at this boat right here. It's pretty amazing out here on the dock. All right. Oh! 
Another film here. This movie's called Slaughterhouse. Oh, there's a slasher right there. Oh, there's a slasher. Don't slash me. That was a lot of fun. I, I do like the creativity, the movie theater aspect of it. You're actually going into a movie theater, going in to the screen, which is really creative. I really love that, that creepy black light effect at the beginning. So yeah, I love, I miss Dark Ride. I will always miss the Haunted House Dark Ride, but we have the videos, we have the memories. It's always fun to see something new and creative as well. All right, next up is Mesmer. This was the new haunt last time I was here, two years ago. I really, really loved it. It's got kind of a carnival theme and some really, really creative and strange things inside. All right, see the illustrated man there, in the sideshow banner. Mesmer, sideshow of the mind. Come now, don't bother with the opening act. The main event awaits you inside. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a lot of scorched items in here. Everything is appears to be scorched. Oh, look at this twisted hallway here. The big snake rattle there. Oh, look at the giant snake. Oh. Oh, look at that, that snake. Crazy. Stick this aboard. Still really cool. Oh, why is her mouth blue? That was weird. Headed into the wagon camp here. All right, everyone gathering here in the wagon train theater. For The Hanging, this is a show that was actually canceled last couple years because it was too wildly inappropriate. 
but they've um, actually uncanceled it. That's the, the subtitle this year. And uh, they've moved it over here so it's in a more private area where it can't uh, offend uh, random guests walking by. Words from Academy Award winning actress, Nicole Kidman. Oh my God. We come to this place for killing. We come to the hanging to laugh, to cry. That industry. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, hello. What, too soon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <the army. laughs> but I was sharing a bunk with this guy. COVID. Miss me? I'm ah. Oh, it's COVID. My name is Comfy. I am a virus. I am sucked in from the airspace. Rock next to you with it. I came from Wuhan. <laughs> oh crap. I'm in the wrong theme park. Speaking of crap, look what I found in my bed. With my dial of destiny, I'm going to travel through time. Hey, traveling through time is my street, old man. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to catch on fire. Sorry. I got this thing straight from Anaheim. <laughs> Looks like Disney laid off that guy too. I said, get him, my kids. Take it off. Take it off. Oh! Oh, they cut his head off. Yay! Nick Cannon is dead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheekies. The real villain has been him the whole time. Look, gang, it's special guest star. Elon Musk! Yes, I'm afraid it's true. My plan was to take over the world and rule it using social media. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Good citizens! The accused stands before you a symbol of wealth and corruption run amok. Absolutely correct. We've been chasing this idiot all night, and for what? His neck isn't even worth the noose. Are you ready for a hanging? Yeah! Karen, you are everything that is wrong in this world, and your reign of terror ends tonight. So I want to speak to your manager. Tell him I say hi. In hell. <laughs> We're about to head into Chili Chambers. This is a haunt built for the 50th anniversary. It's supposedly an homage to the very first haunt that was also named Chili Chambers. Oh, there's the pumpkin head from, from the pumpkin eater haunt. That was a good haunt. Well, I guess these are names of old dead haunts. It's like a museum of old Knott's haunts. Your shoes are untied! Oh, wait, Croc. This is the Mangler Asylum here. Oh no! You knew my name somehow. Oh, she's puking right there. There's like a hall of masks here. Different creatures from the past haunts. That's really cool right there. Headed into Chupacabra here. <laughs> oh no! Ah! All right, into the club Chupacabra here. Oh! Kind of a club.
love is this? if you will, of some of the past haunts. I did see some references I remembered. Like I said, I saw the, the pumpkin eater, pumpkin in there. That was an old haunt that I remember. So really cool. I like that they pay tribute to some of their older haunts. What's this, a marching band? What? Are you ready for pain in the house, Shire? I am ready. Yes. That's what I'm oh my god. Oh, no sliding and no saying my name. Oh, <laughs> we are entering the Karn Evil scare zone. It's the Karn Evil instead of Karn Evil. Carnival, like you know, tents, clowns, everyone's having a good time. An event where you have rides, food, games, fun things. However, this is not one of those. This is a carn evil, so it's like the aspects of a carnival, clowns, things such as that, except it's evil. So there's like a, a bad vibe to everything. Bad things are happening where there would normally be fun things. That's why it's called carn evil and not carn evil. been great. Are you new to the boardwalk? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Have you heard about my special? No, no, no. 50% off. Bodyguard, I will watch your back. Okay. I will stand here while you walk away and I'll just watch your back. You'll That's watch it. watch my back? 50% special. Just okay. call for terrible tea. All right, all right. All right. Gotcha. Oh, who's this? What's this? 
Hey! Are we doing hugs? Oh! Oh, that was a tease. Oh, who's in the jar? Grandpa's in the jar. Oh, no. oh, you're eating your grandpa and he's ashes. And you know my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. I'll get right inside your head and I'll make you do what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? I want you to stay with us forever. Forever? <laughs> Just like, your head. Just my head? <laughs> that part's not so great. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Round and round we go. <laughs> Round I'm getting dizzy. Round, <laughs> round and round and round. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am not legitimately dizzy. He may be dizzy. I'm so dizzy because of you. What? <laughs> Sideshow banners here. Here's the Frogman. I, I, for some reason, I find this hilarious. Frogman. He's basically just a frog with a with a human nose. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I've definitely never seen anything like that. Look at this, this guy's got like a flaming menorah on his head. Look at this, he's got a fire sword. Oh wait, he's lighting this thing here on fire. Oh, look at that. Pretty impressive. Check this out. This guy over here rotating in like the big giant hamster wheel. Oh, look at this. It's actually on top there. Oh, that's pretty crazy. It's kind of a backstage area back here where they have four haunts. Alright, come back here to check out the 50th anniversary legacy store and museum here. Here is a couch signed by Elvira in uh, 2017. It says this is the last, she did her last performance on this couch. Here's some props from some of the old haunts. This is the Doll Factory. Okay, so we saw pieces of the Doll Factory in the uh, Chilling Chambers haunt earlier. Here's some props. And this is a creature head from the Labyrinth maze. That's pretty cool. And this is the Mine Ride Ghost Decor. Oh, okay. This is from the Haunted Mine circa 1970s. It's like, I guess, an old uh, dark ride prop. And I loved how they've preserved all these old props. It says this is a prop from Camp Gonna Get You from 1996. It's a rat with a hand for a head. And this is Sinister Seymour. Apparently, he was the original host of the Knott's Halloween Haunt, which is the original name of Knott's Scary Farm. Actually, some of the uh, 
Cedar Fair parks like Kings Island still use the Halloween haunt name. A crypt keeper mask says this was used in uh, in the show The Hanging. Some old character costumes says this is the Green Witch, the Overlord, and the Undead Cowboy. It's a big clown mouth here. Get some knots. 50th anniversary Scary Farm hot sauce. I don't know where this spider tunnel takes us. Oh, it takes us out of the store. Next up, we're gonna head into Waxworks. One of my favorite haunts here. It's actually a wax museum themed haunt. You see the devil's head up there talking. All right, headed in. Dangling. Wax bodies here. The wax museum on fire. Oh! Oh, look at this. The big melty thing of wax. My first masterpiece. The Hollywood section. There's Washington Cross in the Delaware. It's all melty. Abraham Lincoln, he's all melty too. Spooky stuff. Oh, I don't even know what's happening here. The balance of food. Oh yeah. The wax monstrosity. Exquisite. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh, look at this tiger head. That's crazy. Oh no, not the bees. The beekeeper there. How wax where wax comes from. Oh my goodness. into wax. Now what is even going on? These are like giant wax bowls here. Jeez. They changed it a little bit, but still a lot of fun. And the haunts here in the back area. It gets getting kind of late. The lines are pretty short. This is Bloodline 1842. This is a, another new one. I've not done this one before, so uh, this one will be new for me. Who's that up there? Oh, what's that, a vampire? Oh, geez. Oh, you stuck up behind me. What kind of a place is this? Oh, there's a vampire killing someone in here. Oh my god. It's some sort of pub. Oh, okay. These are the hunters in here. Oh, there's a vampire hunting tool.
had it into dark entities. This is like a uh, a space themed haunt with evil robots. All right, there's no one over here right now. It's getting later. Heading straight in. I love these robots here. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, I do like the robots. Take you this way? Okay. Multiple alien life forms. Oh gosh! Why? <laughs> you do? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that brain in an aquarium. Oh, that's so gross. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. That is so gnarly. Oh, look at that. One of the good robots is actually mutilating people. Bad robot, bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's more pulsating objects there. That's creepy. Oh, I didn't know you were real. They just said the depths will not be coming back next year. So this is our last chance to experience the depths. Pretty fun uh, ocean based haunt. So let's say goodbye to the depths. All right, in to the depths, the active mine area. Here we are, under the sea. Oh! Oh, fish man. Oh, I see you, I see you slurking. Through a tunnel of, tunnel of sawfish bills here. over here. Mermaid tail. Oh, the big, the big octopus here. The tentacles. Oh, goodbye giant octopus. Goodbye Kraken. Oh, shark man. <laughs> it's a great white. So thank you for joining me here today at Knott's Scary Farm. And it's so good to be back. Yes, one of my absolute favorite haunted experiences, one of my favorite Halloween events. Um, I love you know just the, the creativity here. Um, they don't use any intellectual properties. They don't use any like established properties. It's all unique. Ten haunted houses, and they're all unique ideas. And I love the the expression of creativity. I think that's one of my favorite things about haunts is, is the the creativity used to make them. The, the design that goes into making unique haunts. So hopefully, hopefully this can remain part of my uh, yearly. Uh, yearly regiment hopefully we can get out here next year and see what they come up with and yeah they uh, you, they, they, they kind of cycle through haunts so they may have some of the old haunts each year but then a certain number of them there was three new ones this year 10 haunts in total so a great event and, and, and love love coming out here um, got some more spooky stuff planned while we're here in uh, in California so I hope you guys will 
stick around for that. Again, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more, which a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, as well as doing cameos on Cameo, personalized messages. If you're interested in any of that, all the information is in the description of this video. And of course, all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, a Mr. Ridgeable in the air. Oh, got foggy there for a second. Till next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.